So these passages from John chapter 17 verses 20 to 22. My prayer is not for them alone. I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message, that all of them may be one, Father, just as you are in me and I am in you. May they also be in us so that the world may believe that you have sent me. I have given them the glory that you gave me, that they may be one as we are one. In this passage, he starts praying for the unity among the people who have believed his message. I'm sitting here on the grounds of an abbey in Reading, England that was caught in the crossfires of the English Reformation. One of the great examples of disunity in the church and some of the things that happen as a result of that. And it's a great reminder of what can happen when we lose sight of the main thing and start focusing on other things. So as we're praying for unity, the questions like, who are you to be one with? What are the fences in your life that need to come down to allow that unity to happen? It says here, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. This is huge. We are the message. Our unity is the message. This is how the world will believe that Jesus has come from God. So how are we living out this message? Let's read the passage again. My prayer is not for them alone. I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message, that all of them may be one, Father, just as you are in me and I am in you. May they also be in us, that the world may believe that you have sent me. I have given them the glory that you gave me, that they may be one as we are one. Father, show us where we need unity. God, I thank you for the, the love that you've shown us, the love that we can live in to get this unity, to bring down these walls and to live as one and be your message in the world. God, help us to embody this message. Help us to be your light in the world. Amen.